here is a clip of Bill Maher talking at somebody else about how they feel about London not being majority white anymore. Uh, it sounds like uh, Bill Maher and the other dude is pretty sympathetic towards uh, racist people being mad about uh, how diverse London has become. I went to London was 1984 and it was a completely white city. And then I went back and I think I don't know, but the last time I was there, it would look like New York, which I'm saying happily celebrating that. But you were making the point that I think the stat was like it went from in 50 years from 86 percent white to 36 or 39. Is yeah. OK, so in one, in 50 so, years, that and is your point. What I'm often making also is like, just don't gaslight me. Don't be like the world is irredeemably racist or it can't change. But nobody says that the world is irredeemably racist or that it can't change. It's just that there is a lot of systematic racism going on and it's going to take a lot of time and hard work in order to change that. Because we have the statistics. It can. We're not people who should be deprived of the joy of celebrating our progress. And, no. you know, that, but, but At the they, same they equate time, it with you can't say we've done all this without them going, there's still work to be due. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. adults assume that before the conversation right, started. Right. That's why you're not adults and you're so fucking tedious. Right, right. Because adults assume things. The nuance part of it that doesn't have to, but right. you saintly people have to hear it. Out. Okay, yes, of course, we get it. It's fuck. Wow, he's really mad about people saying that there's still more work to be done. Wow, dude, you get upset over like pointless things. Come on now. Fucking amazing. The the things that happen today that we Annoying. take for granted, and they all they see, all they complain about. I mean, again, this is like ah. Uh, Everybody takes things for granted and just want to complain. Well, yeah. I mean, the younger generation, like me, I've only been alive for 30 years. Yeah, I am happy. Like, in my nation, like, there is a lot of progress going on. But I am still going to complain about the rampant racism that still exists. And that's going to happen in the UK. Was I going with that? But I'm, I'm, I mean, I London to go, but just let me pause. But yes, and also in To go large, from 86% to 39%. To 39%. It's like, don't tell me things don't change. And yes. show me the white supremacist marches. Show me the. The, the other part of this is. Oh, wait. Look, to me, it's look, your regular English people traditional people out in the countryside, out in the small towns, the some of the old Londoners, they're going to find this kind of weird. They're going to be absolutely find this a little bewildering. You know, they're going to find this a little hard to take in. And then Well, they can deal with it without being racist. Like, things change. Society changes. If, if your city becoming more diverse makes you become more racist, well, you got to, you know do some inner questioning and wonder why you hate these people so much for no reason. They're going to have reactions what, to that, it. that London looks so yeah, diverse? Yeah, suddenly like, uh, of course or that it's so look, rich or that it's, or that it's the center of, like when I when used to go to London, it was a totally different city when I left it. Now I feel like I'm going to an American blue city. I have the but, same facilities, I have the same But of course, options. in the march of human history, down the road of progress, there are always going to be stragglers. There are stragglers in this country. Yes, stragglers by and the millions. Okay. The point is exactly, you can't like just stop every set of ideas that doesn't, uh, you know, make you go, and oh, there's more work to be done. Yeah. Uh, just acknowledge. They won't actually celebrate. The, you know, the stragglers the don't have power anymore. Uh, well, I wouldn't call these people stragglers like in the United States. Right wingers in the United States are definitely not stragglers. They're uh, actively uh, regressing society and want to bring it back to basically uh, when racism was openly accepted and you could lynch whoever you wanted. They don't, by and large, but also my feeling is... And they're not popular. It's not popular to of be racist. It isn't. it isn't. So, like, yes, are there, is there work to be done? And then there's you've also written about... Well, they say it's not popular to be racist. Um, 
in uh, United States is a great example of like popularity of racism. Right wing is able to pump millions and millions and millions of dollars into like right wing extremism. Uh, Joe Rogan, who gets listened to uh, worldwide, gets paid a hundred million dollars to be a right wing wa racist. Um, and it is no doubt similar in the unit in the uh, UK, where the right wing pumps uh, a ton of money into uh, right wing hate groups and talking heads to further their ideas. But this, I love the the kind of like attitude that some wokesters have about. Well, if only the older white people. Oh uh, wow, he using the word wokesters. So he, I, I'm assuming he doesn't like the word woke or in, and stuff like that, which, in my opinion, shows that he's pretty uh, right-wing leaning, because only right-wingers use woke derogatorily. People would die. Like, you're perfect at handling the world, I'm mm. sure, darling. You'd like this, hurry up, die. <laughs> I think you wrote that, hurry up and right. die. <laughs> it's like, what a, what a terrible attitude to have. I know, I know. Even with people, and people essentially on your side politically, yeah. even, you know, and, but also, of course, the Trumpsters. If they would just die, then things would be perfect. Because if. Yeah, if, if large groups of bigots died off. It definitely would make um, a nation better because you'd have less bigots regressing the nation and trying to remove people's uh, uh, freedoms. So it's not that bad to hope that um, older people or any group of people with bigot, uh, bigoted ideas to, uh, to cease to exist. Um, because, yeah, uh, one less bigot makes the world brighter. It's, I mean, again, do they hear themselves? Do they hear themselves, what the, the way they talk about large groups of people? My feeling is, look, in all of human history, the vast majority of it, like think of England. This is another stat. In 2015 alone, 2015 alone, more people net migrated into the United Kingdom and all the people that migrated into the United Kingdom from 1066 to 1950. In one year? In one year. 2015, okay. The pace of this right. is unprecedented in human history. Now, America's different. America's always been had this massive amounts of new people coming in New York. Right. The fact that London no well, one goes to a little island off the rainy island off the top across of you to seek their fortune. I'm few, some people did from the Commonwealth and elsewhere, but no, people left it, those islands by and large. That's, that's, uh, and the people that stayed there were, had such an incredibly homogeneous, even, even genetically, it's, they're, they're an island, they're cut off. So yeah, everybody was white. Yeah, whoop de doo. Um, things change, society changes, people move, people, uh, you know. People move in, people move out. Um, uh, places that will allow, you know, people from other nations to move in, uh, there will be changes to the diversity of that area. But I think it's funny how, like, um, you want to talk about, like, the past of, like, um, the UK and stuff. I mean, what was the UK uh, doing but going around, like, invading various other nations, making them colonies and, like, um, changing the diversity of uh, other groups around them. So, like, I mean, at, le at least these people aren't, like, coming in and, like, uh, taken over by force. Suddenly, the whole world is revolutionized. Right. Of course you're going to have people who are going to feel upset and well, confused and, it, and feel like they're losing a sense of their country and who is... Oh no, I'm so confused. There's a bunch of brown people around me now. What am I supposed to do? I guess I'll become an even uh, worse racist person. Yeah, that's perfect logic. Listen, what am I, and, and, and the course, worst thing my brother said, my brother said this to me about London once when we were talking, I'm, I'm going to London for the weekend. He said, well, it's not our capital anymore, is it? Oh. Yeah. Wow, it's not our capital, meaning white, uh, UK uh, people's capital, 
but it's now brown people's capital. Like, and it's a totally racist way of thinking instead of being like, yeah, this is our capital, meaning everybody that lives here. It, he wants to have a white versus, you know, everybody else. I mean, he didn't mean it racially. No, honestly. And that's the, that, again, that's he the, did not mean the, it that that's way. That's the nuance that they. Re- well, yeah, if you gotta like be like, oh no, this isn't a racist remark, anything of the sort, blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, and it's definitely a racist remark. Refuse to see or understand. It's not like the right. not like the English have got their English it's, capital. Right. It's a totally different world. It's like a spaceship landed right. from globalization sure. land, in which all these super smart and very wealthy white people and all their um, multicultural, diverse, multiracial servants essentially live in these big bus. Wow, servants. You call them. You calling uh, the POC servants because. They're working for, or they're employed by wealthy white people. That's a wild way of thinking. Sling cities, and they're, I, w- I mean, London today is, I would much rather live in it than London in 1984, but I don't begrudge the people that feel like, shit, what's happened to my world? I don't understand this. So and, what is London? And when I say what's happened, I'm called a racist and fuck. Yeah, because you, you're pretty sympathetic towards racist people and the idea that, you know, oh, I, there's a bunch of brown people around in my city now. I should get mad. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, eh, I, I, I mean, if you're gonna, like, be sympathetic towards racist people, yeah, you probably have a whole lot of racist ideas that you haven't uh, talked about in this clip. So, that's all on you. Uh, drop a like, sub, or comment. Peace.